everyone, how are you doing today? My name is Karina and welcome back to my channel. Today I am so excited to present for you guys my fourth update already for This Is Fantasy. Fantastic ladies collab, lots of great fantastic prompts, and of course all of the info about the creator, the project, the prompts, what I'm doing with it. Check out the intro video or of course the description box down below. I have been working on six items so far. My goal is to get through all of the prompts this year before the finale in October and I am making some good progress towards that so we will just keep the momentum going and start this video off by talking about my progress thus far. If you enjoy Project Pan content or especially if you enjoy This Is Fantasy, make sure you like this video, subscribe so you don't miss future updates and without further ado let's just dive right into it. The first item is a long haul product that has been in this project since the beginning. The goal on this is simply to see how far I can get within most of a year of tracking it. And of course that is my single eyeshadow in for the Cyclops prompt. This is the CoverGirl Champagne eyeshadow. You will see where I was last time. And as I talked about in my last video, my goal this month, and you can see kind of a dips working this way, is in this part of the product there. Because I do want to try to work this down a little bit more so that I'm, you know, work this, then we get more pan, work some more down, get more pan. Uh, a little bit hard to see, so I'll throw up a picture of where we are at now. And you know, that's decent progress, you know, we're getting there. So I'm very excited about it. Again, this is my inner corner highlight, so, and my brow bone highlight. I don't track uses on this because it is such a small, tiny little bit of use each time, and I do use it once to twice a day, depending on if I'm reapplying or touching up. But that is my progress on prompt number one. Also in from the beginning is my vampire prompt. So this is my Tom Ford lipstick. <sighs> so blood red product. And guys, I am so, so, so close. Again, this particular red, I think it's just a little bit more difficult to wear because I'm not a huge fan of this shade on its own. I did use it an additional 16 times this month, bringing me to a total of 48 uses in this project and of course this is just a little mini lipstick that is where i am i am so 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 close and i'm not really sure how much use i'm going to get because on this side here you can see that's getting pretty flat there so normally i've been working it on the angle like this and applying it that way um but it may have to be more like straight on application to get the last little bit because i don't want the scrape in my lips if I roll it all the way down, you can see how much progress I have made in those 48 uses. But this is just so, 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 so close. Oh, the end is in sight. Next up is an eyeshadow palette. So of course, you know I have my Use Those Eyeshadow Projects. This one though was rolled in for the prompt, the Basilisk of a Matte Eyeshadow. So of course, I rolled in the shade Vortex, which meant that I could play completely with this palette, basically do whatever I wanted. Uh, previous to this update, I had four uses out of my goal of 10. I have reached for the remaining six times this month, so I have met my goal and this is going to be rolling out. This, of course, here is the palette. Absolutely gorgeous, beautiful. I've played with almost every single shade in this palette at this point now. Um, of course, Vortex is this one here. I'll throw up a picture so you can see it a little bit better. There's definitely a bit of use on it. You can see it's been used, but that's about it. And again, my preference for that one was using it as an outer corner deepening up kind of color. But that let me do everything, right? I could go more neutral every day. I could play with the glitters. I could go colorful. I could go pastel. So I really enjoyed having this rolled in. This, of course, was the prompt for the Basilisk. And I am a little bit sad that this is now going to leave the project. All right, now let's get into the items that were rolled in new for the last update, starting off with my NARS blush in the shade Orgasm. This was for a product that you think you'll have good luck with. And because I am panning a pink cream blush in my Partners in Cream project, I wanted a pink powder to go with it. Of course, we'll see where I was. Um, it was new to the project last month, and I did manage to use it a total of 24 times. And my goal, of course, was to use it 
50 times. So I'm almost halfway to my goal. And that is where we're at now. So again, I'm not digging my brush in any specific area. I do try to wear my pans down evenly, even though like I never hit pan, but that's okay. That's just my personal style preference. I'll throw a picture up so you can see it as well. Now, for those of you who have caught my Graveyard Project Pan intro, you know I rolled in the blush that is in my uh, Lucky Glow uh, highlighting palette, um, which is more of an orangey coral tone. And that is going to be my focus because I do want to get that blush used up this year. And uh, we'll see how we, we go with that. But for that reason, I will still use this, um, especially when I do need more of like a, a pink look to it. I am not wearing it today. I'm wearing a different blush combo today, unfortunately. But that is where I'm at with this. So we'll still get a little bit of use, but normally I would have tried to get something like this out in two months. But because of what I have on other projects, we're going to take this one a little bit slower, but I am enjoying having the project. So I'm not upset about it. This was also new to my project last time. This is a skincare item. This is the Grown Alchemist uh, Balancing Toner. It's just a sample size from one of the four favorite kits. Um, this was rolled in for the product prompt of the troll. So something you think has ugly packaging. I wouldn't say this is ugly, but it's not the most aesthetically pleasing, right? With that dark brown kind of color. So it's fine, it's there. Because this is skincare, the goal is to finish it. This is where I rolled it in at the beginning. I had not used this one before. And this is the toner that I use at night most nights. And my husband is now using this one as well. That got us down to here. So within that one month. Lots of good progress. A couple little mishaps because, of course, this top is completely open. So when we were used to a toner that you were having to shake to get the last little bit out, and then you go to something like this, <laughs> um, a little bit extra coming out that we need it so it's like go down the neck go down the decollete um so i don't think any product was full on wasted but there definitely was a little bit of product that got a little bit more further mileage going down but this is getting nice and close again it's the one that my husband is using it. i'm trying to use this one every night and we're making progress and the final item that I have on the project right now is the Goblin, which is a product that gives you trouble. And so last month I had rolled in this NYX double-ended lip liner. It is looking significantly shorter than it was last time. On one end you have the actual lip liner, and I was not able to get a way to get this sharpened. You can see my attempts there on the side. So this side is basically useless to me. So I have been prioritizing the actual crayon side and you can see like we're getting way down there on this item the sharpener doesn't fit the best it does the job but I do think it's kind of eating some of the product um, so that's not great but I gave the whole story of how this got into my collection last time so I'll leave it at that but my goal was to get 20 uses out of this crayon and I have gotten 20 uses. So it's going to leave the project. I imagine because there's not much left, like I don't know how far that's going to go in there. I'm thinking maybe come the fall, I'll want to roll this into my lip service project pan just to knock it out and get it completely done and out of my collection, or at least as far as I can get, since I can't do this side here. But that is so exciting. So for those of you keeping track, that means goal is met on two items, the 10 uses on the Vortex eyeshadow, the 20 uses on the matte duo lip crayon. So we have two items to roll in. Now because I feel it takes me a little while sometimes to think through all of my prompts, um, I have already gone ahead, randomized my prompts using my Tiny Decisions app, reflected on what I want to bring in, and we have two new items that are going to be joining us. So the first prompt was The Giant, which is a product that you loved before the beauty community made it big. Um, being very new to YouTube and not having paid a lot of attention to trends for a very long time, this was a very difficult prompt for me. So I am going to tweak it just a little bit like I had to do earlier in this project with the Chimera. And what I've decided to do is I've picked an item that I adore and love, but it isn't big, at least not yet. 
I'm not sure if it is going to be like one of those big hidden products because this is a product available from the Dollar Tree. And don't worry, I've learned. This is a nail polish, but it is a topper. So that's not going to contradict with my project polish and will help help me use the stuff in my project polish. Um, I have two nail polishes that I've had some use on from this brand, and that is the Sassy and Chic brand. Um, this is an absolutely stunning topper. Um, the shade is 939. That's all I got for you about it. Um, and using it as a topper, you can see I've gotten a fair amount of use on this already. It looks pink, um, but it does not transfer any color onto the nail. It is just all of this absolutely stunning shimmer, which you guys may be able to tell is on my nails today. Uh, it looks much more vibrant, especially when you're out in the sun. It catches the light so, 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 so beautifully. Absolutely adore it. For comparison, this is the color I have on my nails right now, and you can see there is no color difference. The only difference is adding in all of that beautiful, stunning shimmer. So I love it so much. And again, it's just a topper, so it's going to help me use my project polish as well. The goal on this one um, is going to be for 10 uses. Uh, and I do do my manicure basically every day, but I anticipate based on what I have in my project pan currently, we're probably looking at two months for this one. Because again, I don't want to just burn out on this because it's just so pretty. And perhaps the beauty community will make it big, which would be like, it's a beautiful polish and very, very cheap as well. So this is going to be for the prompt of the giant. And then the final prompt was for the Phoenix. And the Phoenix, of course, coming up from the ashes, your repressed or depotted products. Now, the, for those of you who've been keeping up with my journey thus far, repressing is something I'm very new to. And basically everything that is repressed has been put into projects, so I'm not going to be double dipping. But I do have an option for something that I depotted. And that is going to be my Annabelle kind of olive eyeshadow. I can't tell you anything else about it because I had discarded the packaging a long time ago. It was in one of those little potted containers that you just kind of pop the lid up and down. Um, and with that kind of packaging, I wasn't using it. So I had put it instead into more of my singles kind of Z palette. Um, so things that I either were seeing either single eyeshadows or I depotted them, like the Ophra ones, they just pop right out of their palette, very nice and easy. So a lot of these may have counted, but the one I chose, of course, was the Annabelle Olive, which is this shade up here. It is the one I do have all over my lids today as well to start playing with it. So that is the eyeshadow. I'll throw up a picture so you guys can see it as well. There is a tiny little bit of use on it, but nothing substantial. Um, so my goal with this one officially is going to be 10 uses, which is consistent with all of my eyeshadow uses in the project. However, that being said, it's also a nice opportunity to see, is this on the chopping block or not? Because this palette I generally don't reach for as much, especially now that I have my project going. And so I want to see, is it a shadow I enjoy? How does it last on the eyes? Because when I applied it this morning, it's like, Ooh, we got possibilities. But I want to see how it's performing in 10 uses. It's going to allow me to do that. But that is the final item joining the project for now. All right, so super exciting. So we have a single eyeshadow. We still have a lipstick. We have a blush. We have a toner. We have a nail polish topper. And now we have a single or second single eyeshadow as well. So let's just take a moment and briefly talk about my goals for the next update. Obviously, I do want to progress on everything, and especially for the nail polish topper and for the Annabelle eyeshadow, I want to get at least five uses on each of those because that will set me up very nicely to be able to roll it out within a nice two-month window without having to go, like, hardcore on them, especially with all of the eyeshadows I have in other projects. But what I do want to try to have finished, because I do want to get through all of the prompts this year, are these two items right here. No one is surprised. Again, quick recap on that lipstick. That is all that is left. This has been in since the beginning of the project. And unlike the uh, CoverGirl eyeshadow, which is just see how much progress I can make, this lipstick I want to finish because it's been here 
since the beginning. And I did use it a little bit in December as well. So it would be very exciting to get this finished. And of course on the Grown Alchemist toner, right, we just have this little bit left in there. So I wanna make sure I get this one out so that I'm able to refocus on Skin Is In. And again, just this much left between myself using it just about every night and then my husband using this every day. So that's gonna be the second goal. But that is gonna wrap us up for today. So again, two products have been met for their goals, two new have joined the project. So we're moving right along for my goal to be able to do all of the prompts. And I'm anticipating and hoping for two empties next month. So let's see how I'm able to do over the course of the next month. Thank you so much for joining me today, and I will see you guys in my next video very soon. Have a wonderful day.